Our next presenter is quite accomplished on her own. She is the director and the head of the Department of Pediatrics at the Cummings School of Medicine at the University of Kansas to present the Medicine and Health Award. Antonia Stange, please join us on the stage. So my boss told me to keep this short, <laughs> so I will. So I'm Antonia Stang. I'm an emergency physician at the Alberta Children's Hospital and the department head for pediatrics in the Calgary Zone. My most important role, though, is as a wife to my partner, Michael Lee Hing, and our three amazing children, one of whom some of you met this evening, Lauren. She was handing out name tags with Shane. So if your name was Ada L., you might have met her. So as an emergency physician, I have witnessed how factors such as race, socioeconomic status, immigrant status, gender, impact health outcomes and access to health care. We have compelling evidence that equity and diversity in medicine improves patient care in the healthcare system, reflects the communities and the patients we serve, promotes professional excellence, and improves career satisfaction. And I'm honored to be here this evening to present the Calgary Black Achievement in Medicine. This award exists to recognize our black doctors, nurses, and researchers working to make a difference in the medical field and in our community. This award goes to an individual practicing in the medical field, working to improve the life of their patients and students and to make the field of medicine more inclusive. Our top three nominees this evening are Dr. Janet Hurley, Mandy Idiagbor, and Dr. Kanan Osei Tutu. And the winner is Dr. Kanan Osei Tutu. I'm Kanin Osei Tutu. I'm a physician in Calgary. I work as a hospitalist, and in that capacity, I take care of acute uh, care in patients who are very sick. Uh, this, these past few years has been quite a lot of care of COVID patients, of course. Um, I'm the president of the Black Physicians Association of Alberta, an honor to serve in that capacity. And at the medical school, I serve as the associate director of student advising and wellness. My inspiration absolutely comes from my children. Uh, my wife and I both have the, the benefit of being raised by really uh, involved parents and we are paying that forward and investing in our kids. So we get up every day um, and go out into the workforce and to, at the hospital, just trying to make the, the world a little bit of a better place for them. Passion, integrity, drive, commitment, and focus would be among the, the key traits that I think um, inform my success. So right now I'm doing a lot of work on the national scene with respect to accreditation at the Royal College of Physicians and Surgeons in, uh, of Canada. And in that capacity, I chair uh, an accreditation working group which is addressing anti-Black racism specifically within postgraduate medical education. So we have a number of recommendations coming forth about policy and uh, reporting mechanisms that are going to be designed to specifically uh, support the needs of Black trainees in the, in the training environment and also to, to support and uplift all trainees who are Black, Indigenous, or racialized and experiencing unfortunate incidents of racism uh, as they're just learning how to become physicians. The message of what we're doing has, has gotten out into the community, and we've been working quietly, deliberately, diligently, uh, establishing partnerships and collaborations. We, uh, we all believe that the work we're doing is about the message and not any one messenger. Uh, it's an honor to receive this award, but it's really a representation of the great work that all Black physicians in the province are doing in partnership with business colleagues, legal scholars, etc. I think what I've learned about giving back is that the more you give, the more you receive. Uh, the more you give of yourself in this space, and it, it's tough doing work in advocacy, community building, um, and speaking out for things you believe in. But the more you do that with integrity, the more you find like-minded people who also come out of the woodworks, and then that sustains each other and helps to sustain a movement. Focus on collaborating, uh, working and supporting each other in terms of the goals that you wish to achieve. Focus on strategic partnerships with businesses that have integrity. Uh, focus on supporting one another and, and innovating with one another not being competitive with one another, but actually supporting each other, because I think everybody will go farther if, uh, you know, if we work together. So that, that would be my advice to the aspiring business community.
it's bright up here. <laughs> I kind of like over there in our, our corner with the unprepared speech, I guess, award winners. Um, I also did not prepare a speech. I started to take some notes as my, my brother over here did as well on my phone, but my wife quickly slapped my hand away. Um, so I guess I'll start off by thanking, thanking my wife, um, who is my, my partner. Uh, she's also a physician, and uh, the, the work that she does um, yeah, the work that she does allows me to invest more time in my advocacy work. Uh, she covers my patients when I'm on the road. Uh, lately, I've been giving a few different talks and speeches about anti-black racism. Um, just came from Ottawa today, actually. And, uh, you know, she looks after my patients, does a better job when I'm not around. And then when I come back, they want her. So it's, you know. <laughs> but um, I just want to thank all the award winners and all the nominees. It's, it's a tremendous honor to be in this company. Uh, I want to also just uh, thank Dr. Morris Scantlebury, if he's still around. Is it over? Yes. Just want to, I just want to thank uh, Dr. Scantlebury specifically because uh, just an example of peer-to-peer -peer mentorship. Um, he was a person that, uh, you know, a couple of years ago um, inspired me to, you know, step out of my clinical roles and really take a more of a leadership role within the black community. And, um, you know, that's just, in, you know, we all need mentors at any, any stage in the, in the game. And um, it's just, you know, his, his inspiration helped me to step out and also uh, step up with respect to leadership. So our Black Physicians Association of Alberta is founded on mentorship as a first priority, leadership development uh, for black physicians and uh, advocacy. And so the combination of that is very much aligned with the, with the Calgary Black Chambers. So I look forward to partnering more with that organization. Um, we're new, we're, not, we're young, we've only been on the scene for a short period of time, but uh, you'll be hearing much more about us as we start to expand our community outreach. And it's just great to see everyone here tonight, and um, thank you for this tremendous honor.